Hey guys, it's Brooke with Refab, and today we have a really fun project, or at least I think it is. And um, it all stems from inspiration from Pier One. I was all Googling around the other day about something, and Pier One popped up on my ads, and it was these witch's leg, it was witch's leg table runner. And I'm like, that is so cute. Well, I don't remember how much it was. It was way more than my budget. And I'm like, I could totally make that. And so I decided I was going to. I did not know that I was gonna run across the most awesome witch's legs for this project at Dollar Tree. I was not expecting that, but let me show you what I found. It came like this on a little ring, these witch's legs. They're already flat and everything, guys. So all you gotta do is cut them off for what we're gonna do. Let me show you how we're gonna do it. I have this table runner that I've had forever, okay? It's burlap. Look at this. Look, guys. I'm gonna show you the side that I already did. Okay? Can y'all, I'm trying to get it where you can see it. Okay, look at this. Is that not adorable? For Halloween on your table okay so um, it's a table runner it's burlap I found this for a dollar at a yard sale a dollar um, now I know you'll probably have to give more than that but you can find them all over the place for not very much so just get creative um, so we're gonna do this end of it today live or not live I'm not live this is pre-recorded but um, so that you can see it and then um, it's gonna look just like this. So let me show you what it looks like so that you can see. This is so cute, guys. Be sure to watch to the end and be sure to share the video with your friends, okay? Because I want you to see how to do it yourself. Okay. This is what it looks like, okay? This is the one end. Now, let's get started so you can see how to do this yourself. Like I said, the legs are from the Dollar Tree. They come like this. I guess you just like hang them on a door or something, I guess is what they're thinking, but not us. We're gonna take the tags off and we're gonna cut them up here at the top. Pretty much just right along. It's okay if you don't get them cut straight. They're gonna be hidden, but we're just gonna cut them right across the top like this to where you have two separate legs and obviously you'll get them where you don't see the tags in the back and they will be like this facing each other or facing the opposite way okay so here's what I did now you may kind of figure out an easier way this is just what I did let me cut this string you just kind of make do as you go I took my ribbon, I have this fun ribbon that I already had on hand. I measured the length of my runner at the end, like this, and then I cut it just right across. So I did that, then I laid it down on top of it, and I hot glued it on, okay? This is what I did. And I need to get this isn't straight. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you do want it to kind of be straight. So I just I just glue right here. Plenty of glue on it. And just lay it flat. And just let it go straight across. And put some on the other end. And then I'm going to dab just a little along the top part where the black is just to where it lays down really good and flat. Okay, then it looks like this with just a little hot glue and some ribbon, that's all. Now after that, let me make sure I have it the same way. Okay, I have my legs like this on my other one where they are facing outward. So they'll be like this, okay? So all I do is lay one flat, put some hot glue right here at the top, and lay it under my burlap and my ribbon. 
doesn't have to be in the perfect spot. You're never going to notice, okay? You are never going to notice when it's hanging on your uh, table. You're never going to notice if it's not perfect like the other side. Okay, now do this side. Some more hot glue so I can get those bad boys over here okay now now it looks like this okay but we're not done the reason we're not done is you can't see it very well but the hot glue shows through a little bit on your uh, ribbon so we're gonna put one more piece over this that way you get a good crisp look and it does not show through because we are just barely, barely, barely gonna put any hot glue on this one and it'll stay perfect, okay? And you don't even have to do this step if you don't want. I'm just gonna lay it directly on top of my other piece and get some more glue. And all I'm gonna do, I made it a little longer this time so that it would overlap and I'm just gonna put a little bit over and then I'm gonna fold it like this. See how I folded it over? Just like that. And now I'm just gonna make sure it lays directly flat. Put a tiny bit of glue. Fold this side over. just gonna put just a tiny bit here on our black again just to make sure that it's laying down properly but it's laying really flat so it should be just fine and after that you are done now you've got your cute little table runner and I will be sure <coughs> oh man excuse me dude what is my hair doing I will be sure to show finished pictures of it on the table all finished so you can see but y'all how cute is this with just some ribbon old burlap table runner and some cute cute dollar tree witch's legs can't beat it hope y'all enjoyed be sure to share the video thanks y'all bye